Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Blake Damon here and today I'm playing support at Oasis University. I've picked Mercy for this team because we have a Pharah and Pharmacy is still a thing, so yeah. I see an enemy! Feel stronger? I really like how my team chose to fight on high ground and although the enemy team captured the point initially, we were eventually able to win the team fight and capture the point ourselves. I used my ult there only to get away from that little room. I felt like I needed to leave that room because me and the other support were there together and all it would take is for Hammond to use his ult in that room for us to both be eliminated. So my tip I guess would be just to make sure that you can get to your other support so that you can help them if they need it but not to be too close where it's easy to eliminate both of you at the same time. Sometimes I like to ping my teammates who have been eliminated just to show the rest of my team that I have res and if it's possible for us to get to that eliminated teammate I could probably res them for us but you know if we can't it's, it's totally fine. I personally like to provide the information just in case anything can be done with it. If not it's fine. I always feel like oversharing relevant information is better than silence. Where's your jetpack? I really like this team because I like how they view the point. So it's a place to capture, but it's not necessarily the place where you have to fight your team fights. After you've won your team battles, that's when you can start capturing the point. So my takeaway from this is that the point is the point and you don't necessarily have to fight on it. Yeah, I gotta admit this team is pretty good. They use hard cover, they know the advantages of using high ground, they know how to use chokes, and the advantages of off angles. All in all, a pretty good team. Although we no longer have Afara, I've stuck with Mercy for this second map, mostly because I'm really quite comfortable with Mercy, she is my main. But if I could redo this game, I think I would have used maybe Kiriko instead. We have a Genji now and it's a little bit difficult to support him as a Mercy. And our other support is an Ilari, who is also a short ranged healer. Neither of our supports can really support Genji without putting ourselves at risk. So yeah, don't be like me. Pick your heroes that synergize well with the rest of the team.
There, I feel like I honestly should have been eliminated. I really shouldn't have been allowed to res my tank and in front of the entire enemy team as well. So my tip would be that if the enemy team has a mercy, keep an eye on recently eliminated enemies so that if the enemy mercy does attempt to res, you can make sure she doesn't complete her res, especially on key enemy players like the tank or the other support or a really strong DPS. You know what, just anyone. Make sure she doesn't res anyone. I'm not entirely sure whether or not the May meant to raise Ilari's soul for me, but I really, really appreciate it. It made raising her a thousand times easier. It took me out of the line of sight of the ulting Hog, who didn't even notice what I was doing. And so I was able to successfully res our Ilari. So thank you, May, for that excellent, maybe unintentional, but really good play. <laughs> And look at that, neither I nor the May got eliminated at all in this game. Anyway, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and share and subscribe if you haven't already.